Hi everybody, welcome back. Before I jump straight to the problem, I want to remind you of the free resources that I have. Number one, I have a guide named How to Evaluate Your Education in the United States of America. Number two, another guide about Shear Moment Diagram, which has a solved example and then a few examples that I have collected from various FU materials. If this sounds something that you might need, Click the links below and you'll be able to download them for free. Now let's move on with our example. Citizens of a small community have three choices for commuting to the employment zone defined as downtown, which is a distance of 17 miles away. The choices are one driving, two commuter rail, and three a suburban bus line. The utility values for the three modes based on a factored sum of attributes such as time, cost, etc., cetera, et cetera, are minus 1.23 for driving, minus 2.11 for commuter rail, and minus 1.89 for the bus line. If the total number of commuters originating from the community is 560, how many are expected to take the bus? All right, so when we have a few options of commuting ways, we must right away think of logit model. So let's go to transportation. I'll just write down transportation. And let's go to our um, logic mo model formula. Logic models, there you go. Here is the formula that is going to help us determine how many out of 560 people are expected to take the bus. So the FE handbook is giving this formula if two modes, auto and transit, so it gives you two options, mode, uh, auto and transit are being considered, the probability of selecting the auto mode, A can be written as. So let's uh, write this formula down and apply it to our problem here. So I'm gonna write P bus equals two, and we have E to, You know, maybe I should write the formula down as, as it is in the FU handbook. So I'll just do PA equals two E U A over E over U A plus E U B. So let's apply this to our case, which means that if we have to calculate how many are taking the bus, we'll have E, and I'll do the coefficient for the bus, E, again, this goes the bus plus E for the rail, plus E for driving. And in our case, we'll have E. Let's see what is the coefficient for the bus. It is one, minus 1.89, minus 1.89 over E, Again, minus 1.89 plus. Next, we have the rail. For the commuter rail, we have minus 2.11 plus E. And the coefficient for the driving is minus 1.23, minus 1.23. And let's calculate that using the calculator. And we get 0 0.2675, we'll round it out to 268. And this is the percentage of people that will take the bus. And now moving forward, in order to calculate how many people will actually take the bus, we take the entire amount of people, 560, 
multiplied by 0 0.268. And this equals to 149.9. People take the bus. And the correct answer is A, 149.9. That's it for today. It was not a complicated problem at all. If you have any questions about this problem, don't forget to leave it in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe because this helps people like you find me. Keep up the good work on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week.